Okay, well this is uh, really part three of Johnny Davro's, uh, I'm calling it the Snake Egg Bedini. And uh, if you go over to energeticform.com at the uh, one magnet, no bearing thread, he's got this posted. And the reason I'm calling it a snake egg is they're using these um, hematite magnets, these egg magnets that look like snake eggs. And uh, you're running a whole motor on just that. And it's a Bedini circuit. Now I added this stuff that he recommended to cut the amp draw down. And that did the trick. I'm now at about 10 milliamps. Running at about 2.5 volts right there. And I've got it stabilized. And it's not only really stabilized, but I've got an LED lighting up off of it now. And um, that's an air core. It's just a roll of 30 gauge wire I got at the store and hooked up the LED to it. And it works quite well. And it's generating electricity off that spinning magnet right there. And I found if you tilt the lid a little bit and get it away from the coil so that it's down away. So this is where the center is and this is where the magnet's running. It does better down there. Now wobbling around doesn't seem to hurt anything and uh, it doesn't seem to make a problem. Now I've got it charging up oh, on the back side here and uh, I'll disconnect the battery and I'll show you what this loads up on a capacitor when I disconnect it so that it is actually charging on the back end of the Bedini motor here. This is like an SSG, same thing. Now I've got the trifiler still there. This is a trifiler coil. It's a standard Bedini. It's my lib motor coil which has got like a transformer effect. But I added another 750 turns of the 30 gauge wire on top of that. And this is the the third winding, the secondary third winding. Now I have an LED hooked up right here just to show you that on the third winding I am uh, getting power out of that too. So I've got all kinds of energy coming out of this thing. So not a lot of energy going into it. And this is what I was hoping for so that maybe I could run it off the uh, Dr. Stifler SEC. But anyway, I'm working on it. Putting these two potentiometers here was extremely critical to make this run right. And this is uh, Johnny's diagram here. I hope he doesn't mind me showing it. But uh, yeah, there's two potentiometers here and then this relay coil, which was uh, Invertebrate's idea. It, works, it worked quite well, too, to cut that amperage draw down and still make this thing run like it's supposed to. Now, I have to start it up on a 12-volt battery. I can't get it to run on this, to get it going on this small of a battery. Then once it's going, I just take the 12-volt battery away. But uh, yeah, this is all, all coming together. You have to use an air core coil, and some of the guys are using four of them around here to pick up the energy. I've just got the one going. If, it, if you don't use an air core, if you try to use an iron core or steel, whatever, it just uh, attracts the magnet and everything comes to a grinding halt. So that's that. That's the latest on the uh, uh, snake egg bedini, I call it.